The female, satisfied that she has chosen a secure place, ceases her labors and holds her head erect and alert. Her response, a mimicry of his, is meant to express receptiveness. She must be patient, as the male always exercises tremendous caution and discernment in this ritual. The male then presents himself at the furthest reach of her sight. He continues to be ever vigilant for predators. The female regards the male carefully and studies him thoroughly. Having detected no obvious imperfections, the female then indicates her potential interest by wing drawing, a practice also seen in storks, hawks, and herons. If the male is interested, he will reciprocate the gesture. And so the male, while carefully maintaining a safe distance, carefully inspects the female. In this case, he is pleased, so he presents himself to her for full inspection. The male, to indicate his receptiveness, as well as his capacity to support the female during brooding, may then present her with a small gift of prey. The female accepts the gift and places it beside her. At this point, she sends forth a peculiar call uttered only at the threshold of mating. The sound of the female mating call excites the male, and he begins strutting back and forth in front of her, flapping his arms to excite her further. This display of prowess excites the female, causing her to fluff up her head feathers. This is known as tylo erection. The male responds with tylo erection of his own. He then performs several impressive diving maneuvers as indication of his strength and prowess. The female is now fully prepared to mate and indicates to the male that he should approach. 